The world is full of fruits that most people haven't even heard of. On this episode, we'll be covering the top 10 fruits you've never heard of. Part 3, Anona Fruits. Anona fruits are a genus of flowering plants that produce large exceptional fruit that are some of the best tasting on planet earth. Simple searches online regarding different Anona fruits are surprisingly full of incorrect information, which was what inspired me to make this video. Anona fruit grow on a large tree that can grow over 20 feet or 6 meters tall. In general, they become ripe when they start to turn yellow in the crevices of the fruit. The fruit can grow so high up on the tree that a ladder and a special grabbing tool is required to harvest the Anona. Now let's jump into this list. Number 10, Cherimoya. The Cherimoya is the heart-shaped Anona fruit with white flesh on the inside. It has a delicious and very sweet taste with a creamy texture. If you've never had one before, you'll be surprised by how heavy it is for its size. Think more of a grapefruit than the weight of an apple. The Cherimoya originated in the valleys of northwestern South America. They've been grown in California since 1871, so if you live around there, you should be able to find them. When it comes to eating them, they should be soft. If they're hard, they are not ripe. Cherimoya come in two main varieties that have different flavors to them. They can be easily identified by the bumps on the outside of the fruit. You can see this one has convex bumps, where the other variety has concave pits. Personally, I think the concave Cherimoya tastes better. Number 9, Rolinia. This yellow Anona fruit is native to South America. The Rolinia is green when growing on the tree, but turns yellow and then turns black when ripe. The fruit is very fragile and will bruise even with basic handling of them. For this reason, it isn't cultivated for mass consumption and you won't find it in the grocery store. It is eaten almost always raw, but is also made into a wine in Brazil. Nothing like some Anona wine. The taste can only be described as lemon meringue pie or creamy lemon sherbet. Now that sounds tasty, doesn't it? Number 8, Sugar Apple. The sugar apple, also named sweet sop, is the most widely grown species of Anona fruit. Often sources online refer to all Anona fruits as sugar apple, which is the equivalent of calling all citrus fruits oranges when there are lemons, limes, grapefruits, tangerines, pomelos, etc. It is uncertain where the sugar apple came from, but it's believed to be around the Caribbean basin. This tropical fruit doesn't grow well in the United States except Florida as it needs hot and wet weather to thrive. The seeds are highly toxic but are very hard so it's unlikely you'd feel a thing if you swallowed some, unless you crack them with your teeth. Number 7, Pawpaw. The pawpaw is a large fruit native to North America. It tastes of a mix of banana and mango with a soft creamy texture. They don't ship well so if you haven't heard of them that would be why. The tree grows up to 20 feet tall but sometimes up to 30 feet which is 6 to 8 meters. This fruit ranges throughout the United States and even up to southern parts of Canada. It's the most cold hardy tropical ass fruit out there. Number 6, Atamoya. The Atamoya fruit is also known as the custard apple. This fruit is a deliberate hybrid of the Cherimoya plus the sugar apple. It is commonly thought of as being the best tasting Anona fruit. The custard apple thrives in Florida and some parts of California. A sub-variety of the custard apple is the black custard apple. While the outside is black, the inside still has the same white flesh. This fruit also comes in a pink flesh variety if you're feeling like eating something the same but different. Typically when fruits and vegetables have dark coloring like this, it means they have high concentrations of nutrients and antioxidants such as beets and cherries. Now the odds of finding the pink flesh Atamoya fruit is pretty rare. So if you ever find it, definitely try it. Number 5, Soursop. The Soursop or Guabana is the big boy of the Anona fruits. They come from the West Indies and produce a fruit that is over a foot long. The fruit is so sweet and so big you'll have a hard time finishing one yourself. You better hope you have a friend with you. It tastes like a mix of banana, strawberry, pineapple with delicate flavors and the scent of citrus and coconut. In tropical places you can find this fruit being made into ice cream and beverages as well. The leaves of the tree can be brewed into a tea to help with parasite infections. Soursop has properties that can effectively reduce stress and insomnia. This unique fruit has anti-cancer properties and is also great for maintaining healthy skin and slowing the aging process. What doesn't this fruit do? Number 4, Keppel Apple. This weird variety grows right out of the trunk of a tree. It originates from Indonesia and still grows wildly in the forests of Java. This fruit has a plethora of health benefits used by locals for generations. This fruit is considered to be one of the endangered Anona fruits. 
When the Keppel apple is consumed, it causes one's sweat and urine to smell like violets and apparently renders women temporarily infertile. Only nature can come up with this stuff. Number 3. Pond Apple This unique variety of Anona is called the Alligator Apple or Monkey Apple. It's native to the West Indies, but has flourished in the Caribbean, Florida, and Australia. It has yellow flesh on the inside, unlike many of the other Anonas, but isn't the best tasting Anona fruit. It is said that the flesh is narcotic, making the fruit not so popular. It's more used for jams and wine than eating raw. Number 2. Marolo The Marolo is a staple jungle fruit of native people in Paraguay and Brazil. The fruit is green while growing, then turns yellow as it ripens. The flesh on the inside is also yellow as opposed to the typical white with Anona fruits. Not much is known about this fruit, but the food industry has recently taken interest in it, adding it to snack bars. The Marolo is high in antioxidants, vitamins, minerals, fiber, and vitamin C. Number 1. Llama Grown in Central America, the llama fruit, sweet name right, grows to around 6 inches or almost 2 decimeters in size and weighs 2 pounds or 1 kilogram. It's easily spotted by its purple appearance, but can actually be light green, pink, or gray as well. The purple fruit will have purple flesh, where the light green fruit will have white flesh like the other Anona fruits. The tree that produces the llama fruit is very inconsistent with fruit yield and the taste of the fruit. Some llama fruit are very juicy, where others are dry and tart, making this fruit unlikely to see the shelves of a grocery store. But wait, there's more! Just when you thought the list ended, there's a bonus 5 more. Here we're going to go over a quick 5 more wild Anona fruits. First we have the Anona conica. This endangered species of Anona fruit comes from Ecuador, South America. It almost looks like a cob of corn with white flesh on the inside. It grows on a small tree, not much taller than a grown man, but will begin to fruit 3-5 to five years after planting. How wild is this thing? Next we have Dugetia spixana. I'm sure I butchered that, let me know how to properly say it in the comments below. Almost nothing is known about this wild and known fruit relative other than the fact that it's from the South American rainforests and it bears exotic red tinted fruits that are sweet and delicious. The one from this photo was found in the rainforests of Colombia. Next we have Dugetia confinis. This extremely rare Anona fruit is from the West African jungles. This one has bright red flesh, is sweet and virtually unknown by civilization. It really is a shame that these fruits aren't available worldwide. Bonus fruit number 4 is Hypoglonca or Wild Cherimoya. This yellow Cherimoya grows in the highland rainforest of South America, predominantly in Colombia and Peru. This variety doesn't contain as much delicious pulp as many of the others. Bonus fruit number 5 is the Wild Custard Apple. Surprise surprise, the Wild Custard Apple is also yellow. It hails from Africa and tastes like a custard apple, but with pineapple and apricot overtones. Ironically, the yellow version of the custard apple has overtone flavors of other yellow fruits. Something to think about. Have you guys heard of any of these fruits? Let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't, which one would you like to try the most? 